Wow. What an in insane day for Fnatic and for you, Razor. Congratulations on advancing to Thank the next you. stage. Any first impressions after this series? How do you feel? Uh, well, my first impressions are that this is the first reverse sweep that I do in my entire uh -huh. career, I think. And uh, I don't know, I feel pretty excited, pretty happy. And like we actually managed to pull through, even though we were 0-2. Yeah, uh, I don't know. This is my first impressions. That's amazing, honestly. And congrats on, on putting this off. I mean, I know that Roxa before the last game was talking about what's happening backstage and what are going to be the speeches that the coaches are going to give you to be in the best conditions to tackle this game. Tell me about what Yamato and the whole mood for the team before tackling game five and getting it to the rift. Uh, well, we actually had the momentum, right? Like, we won two games in a row, but I felt like during the whole series, we never were, like, sad or anything. Even though when we were losing 0-2, we felt like this is kind of scripted. So, it's like, <laughs> it's like, there is no way we don't reverse sweep this. Actually, this is what I feel, and I said it to Dardo, uh, but yeah. uh, it actually came true. Well, thanks for leaking the script. My producers are going to be really happy about this, I guess. But um, talking about the momentum, as you mentioned, um, even though you were focused and you were, you were sure that you could make it through, it takes something, I feel, to come back after being 0-2. What did it take for you to get back on the horse and win the next three games? Mm, I guess just uh, being focused and trust your team. I think we all believe that we could uh, make it. And that's why we actually didn't give up. Like, uh, I think the third game was actually so close. Like, if they, if they win this game, it's like a solid 3-0 from them. And then we look, like, really bad. <laughs> no, but uh, we actually won this game. Then we actually started playing better. We got some confidence. And then uh, in game five, anything can happen. We came with the momentum and we actually got the win. I think it's interesting that you, mo you mentioned trust because um, when I think about the drafts, especially from red side to blue side, we know how usually blue side is favored right now. But what I found interesting is that in game three, game four, you went back to the kind of comps that made you lose the first two games. I'm talking about Lucian Nami here especially. So you mentioned trust, but what made you sure that going back to these kind of champions on which you lost the game would be successful this time around? Well, this is the thing that <laughs> happened to us with the Twisted Fate, right? Like, if mm -hmm. we think that uh, a champ is good and we are losing the games with this champ, but we are not losing the games because of that uh, champ uh, specifically, then we actually trust this pick and keep, keep picking them, right? Mm -hmm. And I think with the Lucian Nami, we knew... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that. we knew that uh, the champs were good uh, or Bolin was pretty confident uh, on the on the picks and we actually pick it and win. It was a nice call. I guess we're now focusing on to the future. You're going to be playing Misfits next week. You were playing Misf with Misfits last year actually and you came this close to going to Worlds losing to Fnatic. Now you're on the other side of the table. How is this one going to be? As I said, I think this is a scripted and uh, I feel like uh, next week's going to be a banger BO5 for the last world spot. And I hope in the script it says that Fnatic goes to Worlds. All right, let's trust the script then. Razorg, thank you so much for the interview. I'll let you go rest and go backstage now. Thank Congrats you. again on taking down Excel and we're going to take a short break now. And we'll be back in a couple of minutes for post-game lobby with Shucks. Stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.